This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to Adventures in Small Business. I'm Jane Sawyer, the District Director for the Hawaii District Office of the U.S. Small Business Administration. And this program is a partnership with uh, our resource partners in Think Tech. So every other week we bring, or every week, we bring a program to you to talk about small business in Hawaii. We, it's a partnership with the Veterans Business Outreach Center, the Hawaii Small Business Development Center, and the Patsy Mink Center for Business and Leadership. So we're happy to be here today to talk about what's going on with small business here in Hawaii. And I'm happy to have my guest, Janice Megan. She's one of the editors at Pacific Business News, and I'm sure you're all very aware of and familiar with that publication. It uh, comes to you weekly and then into your digital mailbox um, in the morning and afternoon. Yes. So welcome to the program, Janice. Thank Thanks you, Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So you've been involved with media and journalism for your entire career. You've got a lot Pretty of much. experience, yeah. so, and that we're glad you're here in Hawaii, but tell us a little bit about what you've done. Uh, well, I've been with PBN for 12 years now. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. so covering a lot of, um, doing a variety of things and mm -hmm. covering a variety of businesses. I'm, currently covering real estate, but I've co also covered um, banking and retail and um, development <laughs> and other <laughs> things. And I've also um, done editing, too. Mm -hmm. um, so before that, I worked for the Associated Press here mm -hmm. and in a couple different places on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, so bringing a lot of experience uh, to journalism here in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, and you've always stayed very interested in this. What is it that intrigues you or got you into journalism in the first place? Um, I guess just curiosity and, and uh, learning about new things all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've covered other areas, not just business right. uh, in the past. But right. you've stuck with business now for at least 12 years while you're here in Hawaii. Yes. What keeps you interested in that? I think because, um, well, there's always something new to learn in business mm -hmm. every day. So, yeah. yeah. So, and you have to look at different stories and different ways of reporting. You've also um, been in the business for some time, seen a lot of changes in media Correct. Uh, over the years. So, what do you think are some of the, the key things that you've seen evolve and are most important, um, particularly for businesses to know who? want to get the word out about what they're doing right. and you know what are some maybe well there's been consolidation mm -hmm. in media um you know we used to have two daily newspapers here in honolulu and now we have one mm -hmm. um pbn's been here the whole time uh i i think that there's i mean pbn does business coverage exclusively but um I don't think there's as much business coverage as there used to be mm -hmm. locally. So, but there's also social media. So a lot of businesses are very savvy about getting, um, building their brands and mm -hmm. getting the word out about um, things that they're doing, especially restaurants and retail mm -hmm. um, businesses. Because the social media has really changed the way a lot of people get information and get their news as well. Right. The quality of the news. Uh, and then what people are really looking for. So right. has that changed? Well, obviously it has changed your work um, significantly yeah. because though you go to print once a week, right. and I still love getting that paper in my inbox <laughs> at, there at, in my office, Yes. but I also look forward to getting the notices of breaking news that come in the morning and in the afternoon right. um, from right. your publisher. You know, from our publisher, but so yeah. personally talking to me. That's right. <laughs> um, yes, so we write for the website mm -hmm. uh, every day continuously. So the email is really just a compilation of everything that's been posted um, up until in the last 24 hours, basically. Mm -hmm. So when you're getting the three o'clock email, that's everything that's been posted since the, the previous day. Mm -hmm. Most of it that day, some of it. 20 minutes before. But, so it's really, it is very much more current, more immediate. Yes, that it is. You yes. are getting. And we actually put more on the web mm -hmm. than we do in print just because the web is, it's unlimited and the print is, you know, we're constrained by 
the number mm -hmm. of pages mm -hmm. in the paper. Yeah. yeah. And another change that I've noticed with PBN um, significantly over the years is it, it is engaging the reader in other activities a lot more as well, not just providing the news, right. but also in many ways helping create news um, with events mm -hmm. and activities. Mm -hmm. So um, how much has that t taken a role in the paper? Or in the business, it's a mm -hmm. big part of the business. Mm -hmm. So we have, as you mentioned, events. So we have, uh, next week, we have our biggest event of the year called Business Leadership Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And um, we have, so for those uh, recognition events, we have nominations open and um, businesses and individuals are nominated for various awards. Mm -hmm. So next week, there will be a Business Leader of the Year Award and um, best small business, best large business. Uh, I believe we have family-owned business mm -hmm. also. And then we're also giving a Career Achievement Award to Jay Scheidler, uh -huh. who, as you know, is a real estate investor mm -hmm. here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, a great uh, product of our school systems and a great supporter of uh, yes, he's education the, here. And they've the named the business school at University of Hawaii for mm -hmm. him. Um, he's he's their largest benefactor. Well, that's yeah. a that's a a great recognition for him, and that is a a, a really well attended and uh, worthwhile program. It's always been a great uh, uh, event to put together and and uh, support. Right. We mm -hmm. have some other recognition events that mm -hmm. we have one called Women Who Mean Business, mm -hmm. and that recognizes women business leaders and and business owners. And we also have 40 Under 40, mm -hmm. which is pretty self-explanatory, but mm -hmm. it's, for those who don't know, it's um, 40 young leaders under the age of 40. Mm -hmm. And those, are again, are business leaders or, um, or owners. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just had an event last week called Best Workplaces. Mm -hmm. And that is um, the businesses take a survey, the business owners and their employees mm -hmm. take a survey, a very detailed survey by a third party, and they um, then the highest ranking ones get recognized mm -hmm. for, and those are a lot of small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, and and I was impressed by a lot of the perks that some of the small businesses have. So, uh -huh. ah, yeah. so they're doing creative things. Yes. You know? yes. I think that's, that's one of the important things to note in some of these um, you know, um, award programs. It's that it's not just uh, kind of a popularity contest or no. who gets the most votes. You really are looking at recognizing best practices right. or unique achievements or accomplishments in a different area. Who generally um, nominates the businesses? Are they self-nominated? Um, employees nominate them? Uh, other business leaders in the community nominate yeah. businesses they recognize? It varies. Some mm -hmm. of the strongest nominations come from, um, you know, other business leaders who, mm -hmm. who write and say, you know, you should recognize this, you know, I, I do business with this business or I know the, the person who mm -hmm. is being nominated and these are all the reasons why they should be recognized. Mm -hmm. But we do we do get um, self nominations as well, and um, some of them are very strong. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things I've noticed since we're kind of in the awards or business recognition uh, business as well, yeah. is that um, very very often you learn um, about these businesses and obstacles they've overcome. Right. Uh, special things that they have, you know, innovations they've made or, or changes they've made to make it a better place to work, a better place, doing business a better way. Right. Um, really commendable things or things they do to give back to the community yes. that you may not have been aware of. Right. And it really kind of reinforces how important the businesses in our community are for our, not only creating jobs in our way of life, but also in creating the vitality or the energy or the good things that happen right. in our community. Yeah, we put a heavy emphasis on community involvement mm -hmm. and um, giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so even with, um, it's one of the things that I've been very impressed with uh, 
even SBA Small Business Awards over the years. Nominations are open right now. <laughs> <laughs> small Business Person of the Year, Exporter of the Year, Young Entrepreneur of the Year, Family Owned Small Business of the Year. These are rigorous nominations, so we collect a lot of information, and we do keep most of that information, particularly the proprietary information, confidential, which Absolutely. is a critical thing yeah. um, when we're talking about those key things that businesses do. But you can get those nominations, call our office or um, go to um, sba.gov, and you'll be able to find information on that, or go to the Small Business Development Center website and get your nomination forms today. <laughs> and they can go to the PBN website. and. <laughs> and uh, get their nomination forms. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are lots of good things, and this is a good way for a small business to actually get their brand out there, get more recognition, and actually get their name in the news as well. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes not just for this award, but the, an award can make them visible uh, to other businesses or to more customers. Right. People become interested, you know, people want to put their dollars where they're going to have a positive social impact or help their communities as well with, you know, let our dollars do the talking, mm -hmm. do, you know. Um, so it can be very positive in parlaying an award into more publicity. Yeah. yeah. You know, in, in many, many different ways. Yes. Um, because I would think that some of those people you see that are brought to your attention in, in awards may become or be recommended for advisory councils or um, other interviews or questions when you may be seeking input on a different issue. Does right. that happen? Or is yeah, that and especially with the 40 under 40, they um, they tend to be kind of up and coming leaders and some of the people that we've written about five, ten years ago are now, mm -hmm. you know, established leaders in the community and have um, sometimes they move they move on to different Mm -hmm. jobs or, or they start new businesses and um, yeah a lot of them put it on their resume uh -huh. I've seen yes. or on their LinkedIn mm -hmm. page. Um, we also have another event that is is pretty much solely small business is called the Fast, Hawaii's Fastest 50. Fastest 50. Yes. Let's talk about that after yes. we come back from break so Great. make sure you join us and we'll tell you all about Fastest 50. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. You can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the king, come banging on your chest. You can beat the world, you can beat the war, you can talk to God, go banging on his door. You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock, you can move a mountain, you can break rocks, you can be a master, don't wait for luck, dedicate yourself and you can find yourself. Hello, my name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pamai Weigert, and we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m., and we hope we'll see you next time. Hi, thanks for sticking with us for the second half of this uh, uh, Adventures in Small Business. We've talked a little bit about building your brand, getting your name in the paper, what, what are some of the ways that Pacific Business News helps people learn about other businesses in the community. We're here with Janice Megan, so thanks for uh, being with us again today. We've talked a little bit about nominating people for awards or the SBA awards, right. the, um, business leaders, the fastest 50, the 40 under 40. Fastest 50 is a very, very popular one and yes. one that can, you know, kind of follow a business or really create some other opportunities for a business. So tell right. us a little bit about, about what Fastest 50 is about. So Fastest 50 is the 50 fastest growing companies in Hawaii mm -hmm. that submit um, okay. to the contest. and. Um, they, but they have to, um, they have to disclose their revenues mm -hmm. for the previous three years. Okay. And those we do, we do not. Um, um, well, they have to disclose their financials, and they are tabulated by an independent accounting firm. Mm, okay. And they calculate the rate of growth 
uh, over from the from the first year to the third year. And some years we've had businesses with over a thousand percent growth. Wow, it's amazing. Um, generally, number fifty is is looking at thirty to fifty percent growth. So these mm -hmm. are these are companies that are really really growing. Mm -hmm. And um, and we have an event. Um, in, it's usually in August, uh -huh. and we have a luncheon where we recognize them, and mm -hmm. um, we recognize them in the paper and online as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a good way. I learn. I always learn a lot about new businesses uh -huh. that um, maybe weren't on my radar. Okay. Know? So, and generally, these are newer businesses that are ramping up pretty quickly. No, or not always. Some of them. Some have of them changed. have been around for years, uh -huh. but they've just had some really good years. And they, um, some of them are repeat um, on the list. Some mm -hmm. of them make the list every year because they're just growing and growing. Um, some of them make the list and then come back five years later. Uh -huh. um, so it's, it's all different. Um, and some of them are brand new companies, but they have to have been in business. Um, I don't, I don't recall the exact. There, it's it's spelled out in uh -huh. the contest rules mm -hmm. or the the. Recognition award rules. Okay. Um, when they have, how long they have had to have been in business. Mm -hmm. when, so, and people can find that information by going to your website, correct. or is it? Yeah. Is it up year round, or is it just when the that specific award is? I don't think being it's open. up yet. It's okay. probably up probably after the new year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's probably so many that come up yeah. too that yeah. you know you want to kind of check and see which ones you're eligible for because yes, we've seen, and I watch a lot of these pretty closely because I do watch for what SBA customers are right. in these. And I'm, I'm very happy to say that very often there's about, you know, very frequently 30 to 50% of them are our customers as well. So that's a, a, yeah. a good thing to see that they're continue, the companies that we help are continuing to grow and to continue to create jobs and all those things that you want to see a small business doing here in Hawaii. So right. it's it's fun to be able to notice that and see the criteria. Yeah, we yeah. have a new event coming up early next year mm. um, that focuses on the technology industry. Mm -hmm. And then we have another industry specific event in the fall uh, called the Pineapple Awards that recognizes tourism and mm -hmm. hospitality. Mm -hmm. And it, usually with all of these, you may be in tourism and hospitality, there's a range of all different size businesses. So you do make sure that a number of them are focused on smaller businesses as well as some of the industry leaders. Right. So we, we in that particular one, we would have the large hotel of the year, which is the Hiltons and the Sheratons and the um, Marriott's. Um, and then we have a boutique hotel of the year. So oh, okay. this year we recognize the um, new Ota uh, new Otani Kamana Beach Hotel. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, that's always a favorite. Yes. You know, lovely. Yes. Um, so and uh, encouraging that they're still doing well after all these years. Yes. Kind of staying true to their brand, their brand and their image, yeah. but also keeping up with so many changes that have gone on in the industry and, right. and with the tourism product that is Hawaii. Right. So we also recognize. Um, tours and activities um, mm -hmm. businesses, and a lot of those are small businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. good to know. I gotta always make sure, because it is a, a tough area for small businesses to make sure that they are getting their name out there, mm -hmm. um, being creative about it. Uh, it can take a big chunk of their um, budget to keep their name out prominently, to advertise, to get into publications. So there are a lot of different things um, that small businesses need to do. So I wanted to see if you have some tips about keeping them their name current. Of course, we're looking at uh, Shop Small coming up, which is a big promotion. <laughs> we're going to hear a lot about Black Friday. But before Black Friday and Cyber Monday rolls around, remember to Shop Small Business Saturday. There'll be a lot of things happening, and there are a lot of fun events that are coming up yeah. um, with that. So what are some other things that people might be able to do with that? Well, we talked about social media mm -hmm. and a lot of, we've talked to a lot of businesses that don't spend money on advertising, but they pour a lot of time and effort into social media, mm -hmm. um, which is free. Mm -hmm. so, right. unless, you, unless you pay to boost your post on Facebook, uh -huh. um, it's essentially free. 
Um, but another way, some businesses have hired public relations mm -hmm. people. Um, and then some are just, they reach out to PBN, they'll reach out to reporters on their own, or, mm -hmm. or we will reach out to them if we, if we know of them. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> there's so many businesses out there, it's mm -hmm. hard to yes. get to everyone. But we do feature a small business every week. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a small business feature, and it's usually um, a short story about the business and then a question and answer with the, uh, usually the owner of mm -hmm. the business. And um, that's a weekly feature you can always find in PBN. And then they're also on the website. And we have a, a small business page so that you can read all, go back and read all of the profiles back probably about two years, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, OK. So yeah. it, will, it will live on, yes. so to speak. Yes. But yeah. a, a small business could you know, contact you or call your newsroom or whatever and say, I've got a story or we're doing a special event yeah. or we're, we're featuring something special in our neighborhood. I think with Shop Small Business Saturday, a lot of people are maybe looking to their neighborhood um, uh, shopping centers or putting a, uh, a contest together or a passport kind of function that, you know, perhaps that something like that happening, they could call and say, all these businesses in our neighborhood are doing something maybe it's something you could send somebody out to cover maybe, or yeah. if you're if you're doing something what would make it newsworthy um, um, yeah I think businesses banding together we tend to focus more on the business of doing business mm -hmm. rather than the consumer side okay. of, of, right. of things um, you know our small business profiles we look at uh, issues that a lot of small businesses face mm -hmm. like um, what do you do when the founder uh, I, I wrote one a couple weeks ago and and their um, it's a family business on Maui and the founder passed away last mm -hmm. year so they're kind of regrouping and, and looking at the future um, with the second generation and possibly the third generation uh -huh. running the business um, we get a lot of people talking about how they hire. You know, mm -hmm. that's always an issue, especially when we unemployment is two percent. Mm -hmm. It's a difficult thing, especially with retail businesses. How do you find good people? How do you? What do you do to keep your people mm -hmm. um, once once you find them? You know, um, how you finance expansion or mm -hmm. growth? How you finance a large purchase, such as a building or? Mm -hmm. um, Capital equipment. Mm -hmm. um, you know those, how those things can really change how you operate, right? As, and and it can shift yes. your profitability as well. Yes. Uh, your prospects for the long term survival. Or yes. one of the stories mm. that I did years ago about um, an orthodontist who purchased a building mm -hmm. and using it, the SBA's Headco loan, mm -hmm. and that got a lot of. I spoke to the the guy at Headco maybe mm -hmm. a year later, and he said, oh, my, my phone didn't stop ringing after that story, <laughs> because I think a lot of people didn't weren't aware that that sort of financing was available to them. Mm -hmm. And and so it, it could open a lot of doors, especially mm -hmm. for somebody who's looking to purchase their, you know, um, own their real estate instead of lease mm -hmm. and control their costs that yeah, way. Yeah, and that program is definitely a terrific program. I think the another thing that was interesting about that was that the orthodontist was a woman. Yes. Um, it was her first purchase. So she was in a, 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 a field that it wasn't common for women at that time right. to be involved in and to make a significant significant purchase like that. Yeah. So it was a good sized loan uh, and it and went she, pretty smoothly. And she, she didn't use a hundred percent of the the building, so right. she leased out, so she became a landlord mm -hmm. in the process. And I've seen that she's done quite well she's since done then, very and well. has multiple offices yes. now. Yeah, and that's it. That's another um, eye opener for other businesses to right. see how you can really take that, solve your problem. I need to have a, a place to operate. Um, and usually, they also find that, okay, I'm generating more revenue, right. I'm creating an asset, and uh, it's, it's just good all the way around. So, right. And it shows other people that they can do it also. Those are the right. best stories, too. Mm -hmm. The ones that somebody does something and it works well, and, 
and readers can look at it and say, I've always wanted to do that or I haven't been able to figure out how, you mm -hmm. know, how I can afford to do that or, you know, we, we also get people who maybe quit their job and start a new job and mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and, and who among us hasn't thought about doing yes, that? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So, um, uh -huh. so there's a lot of, um, a lot of, it's a kind of news you can use and advice that mm -hmm. pe other people can take and apply to their own businesses mm -hmm. or their own careers. Do you usually get tips when you hear about um, businesses or activities that are going on? Do you really have to go out and hunt or do you like people to give you tips? Um, yes, all of the above. <laughs> or keep I, calling, send me an email. <laughs> yeah, or I meet people when I go to events or I'm just out and about and I collect mm -hmm. business cards or talk with people. Mm -hmm. I've, gotten, I've gotten to know some people there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, that's, yes, you have to be out in the community. That's another reason to yes. get out and mix it up or go to events or yes. host events and, and yeah. be, be out and around. Yes, and our mm -hmm. other reporters, that's how they, mm -hmm. they're out in the community and talking to people mm -hmm. and they're on their beats and at events and mm -hmm. they get to, uh, to so. meet new people. We're always meeting new mm -hmm. people. So it's important to, um, be out and around your business as well as working in your business and, yeah. and keeping things going. I know it's but, hard, but mm -hmm. it's it is good to keep yeah. Mm -hmm. To be known in the community mm -hmm. and to be known it, in particular know. the community that you're working with and the community that you right. serve. I yeah. mean it's always good to push yourself outside your comfort zone and mm -hmm. Meet new people and mm -hmm. learn so new things. So business associations, um, business related events, mm -hmm. chambers and um, uh, industry groups and things like that are yes. very, very oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. worthwhile yeah. Uh -huh, to, to get the word out and talk and, more about. Right, and it's not even just getting your business into the media, it's me making new business connections. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, because um, business never to know business who, kind of right, goes, right. works too. Well, and you never know who, who you're going to meet. You right. know, that, I mean, you can't just talk about your business, you need to be seeking business and, and looking for ways to provide your product or service to right. somebody in a right. way that is beneficial because right. that's what they, that business exchange is all about. Absolutely. All right. Yes. So any last minute tips? We're going to be wrapping up for today and uh, uh, you'll be able to check this out and see this on a Think Tech YouTube channel. So um, you have anything else you'd like to close with for Pacific Business News, Janice? Um, no, just keep your, uh, 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 keep telling us your stories, I guess, <laughs> yeah. So, um, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, make sure you check us out at www.sba.gov backslash hi to check on a lot of those programs that will be coming up um, for your business, for networking, and for keeping your business in the news and getting your brand out there. So thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate you being here, Janice. Thank you very much.